you are welcome to this vital topic. At the beginning of the semester, you will be able to pay your school fees and register your courses. After you register registered the courses, you have XYZ number of days for the lectures, assignments, and all that. Then comes the examination you sit for all the papers, all the courses that you have registered. And at the end of the day, you will have some grades to yourself. Attached to each of the courses you registered are units. For instance, as you can see on the screen, these very students registered for S101, which is three units course. Course 101, which is three units course. is C101, which is three units course. At the end of the examination, the student in ACC 101 got for herself F. In BOSS 101 got for herself C. In ECC 101 got for herself F. In ECC 103 got for herself D. In GST 101 got for herself B. GST 103 B. For all these grades, there are points. Please note this. For anyone that's called A, there is an equivalent point of 5. For anyone that scores C, there is an equivalent point of 3. For anyone that scores D, there is an equivalent point of 2. For anyone that scores E, there is an equivalent point of 1. For anyone that scores F, there is an equivalent point of zero. And this is how it is calculated. These students, for instance, scored F in these three unit goals. These three units is going to be used to calculate the point for this F, which is zero. That is, three multiplied by zero gives the students this point, zero. The students go C A. And the point for C is 3A. So that gives us 3 multiplied by this 3, which will give the students 9. The next course is 3 units. It's a 101. And the student got F again. The point for F is 0. So it's going to be the units multiplied by the grade point, which is 0. 3 times 0 gives us 0. In it's a 103. Fantastic. It goes for himself D, which is two points. That's going to be the unit D multiplied by the points two gives six. GST101 happens to be two units points, and she goes for herself D grade, which is B, which is four points. That's going to be two multiplied by four, giving the students eight. The same thing applicable to GST103. So at the end of this first semester, the student can calculate the GPA by adding all these points together, 0.9, 0, 0 plus 9, plus 0 plus 6, plus 8, plus 8. That gives the student 31. Now, add all the units as well as you can, giving the students 16. So how to calculate the GPA for first semester is to now divide 31 by 16. That gives us 31 divided by 16. That gives the students 1.9. That means the student's GPA for first semester is 1.9. But we have to do it cumulatively so we can have the CGPA for the whole session. That is cumulative points for first semester as well as second semester. So when you do that, you are going to have we are going to have 31 plus 25. 31 plus 25. Let me multiply them, giving us 56. That will be 56 divided by 6 divided by 16 plus 12. That gives us 28. That will be 56 divided by 28. 56 divided by that gives the student two points. Please, it. That is how to calculate your GPA. You do the same for for your 200 level. You do for 300. You do for 400, and you do for 500 in the station where 
we are running a five-year program. Now let me talk about the class of degree. There is first class, there is second class, and second class is divided into two. We have upper, we have lower. Then we have third class, we have first, then we have three. Actually, we don't pay the universities. We rather get straight out of the system. Nobody graduates with them. And if they are graduating with pass or third class, that's the piece of the worst reason to be graduating. But as a student, I, I expect us to him as the first class. Second, or second class upper, at worst, second class lower. Those, those are the grades that will hand you something in the labor market. Yeah. If you have a point, the CGPA, for instance, the, the one that we, we, we saw, the, the one we are using as, as a reference, firstly, the student brought two as, as CGPA, as a CGPA. That falls under second class, I mean, that falls under third class. That falls under third class. So the student can, from that, either increase or come down. So the student we are using in this video got two as a point. As a point. So that two gets a within the group of third class students. So that means each, he or she is on the fourth ladder of the class of degree. Any other additional results the person is able to get, we either increase the class or drop the students, either to, to second class lower or dropping the student down to parts. So as a student, you should be able to monitor how you do your study and how your grading system is done. First class is between 4.5 to 5. Why second class upper division, which is by acronym 2 1, is between 3.5 to 4.49. Why the second class lower division, which by acronym is 2.22, 2 is 2.5 to 3.49. The third class on its own is 1.5 to 2.49. Why the pass is 1 to 1.49. And this also gives you an, an opportunity to be calculating your GPA as the results come out. Now you know how to calculate your points. In a situation where in second semester you've seen only one course, all you need to do is just come here and just add the 12 to this 31. Then bring this through. To this place, then that gives you your points with that course. Then, if there is another one, you just add the unit to this place. Then, the entire point, if it is F or P, which is five points, will have the entire point to this place as well. When GST102 comes out, you don't need to wait for that before you can know your GPA, CGPA, rather. You hard up, put the unit where it's got to be, then put the way the general point, put it where it's got to be, then divide it accordingly. That gives you an idea if you are progressing on the other way around. Also, let me point this. In the situation where you are in the first class, if you religiously follow this strategy, you will realize that scoring B in your, your examination is doing yourself bad. If you are in first class, maybe the best result you can have to maintain your class is A. Scoring B drops your points. The same thing applies to someone that is in 2 1, that is second class upper. Second class upper is by acronym 4 2 1. Second class lower is by acronym 4 2 2. Why third class? The class and all that. So if you are in 2 1, the best grade you can have is B. The very moment you are having C, put it side by side and you will see that you are dropping the point. It might be insignificant, but a drop of water makes a make a maturation. So before you know it, accumulating C drops you and you can drop from second class upper to third class and to second class lower with just a point. 
So from 3.5, we just realized that you chop yourself to 3.48. And with that, you are half seven plus of that. 